Good morning, boys. So today we are going to install the jailbroken ECU. And she is wet. When you remove this box from the car, uh, the ECU is gonna be inside of it, right? And it's held in there through uh, four bolts, or actually these, the end ones, these right there. Um, so when you take it out, it's gonna come with it together, right? So this, uh, in order to get the ECU out of here, you gotta pry these little tabs open. All right, let me interrupt the video real quick. I know what you're thinking. Where the hell is the uh, removal part, right? Well, hang on a sec. So, I learned by doing, right? A lot of you guys probably agree with me here, but uh, I left the part out because I was filming it and I kept on, you know, not knowing what I'm doing because I've never taken the ECU out. And, uh, you know, I learn as I go, but I wanted to show you guys an educational part of it where you actually see how it's taken apart or how it's, you know, put back together. So you guys can do it yourselves and save your, or your trouble from uh, doing it wrong. So yeah, I just wanted to say that. I only did the, the bottom two. I didn't need to do the top ones. Uh, it just needs to release this part of it. That's what keeps it in place. So once you open these up, it should be like that, okay? And then you click it back in place. But to put it back in, you obviously got to open it up again. So open it up again. So you can see it, that's all the way it goes. But once you open it from the bottom, then it'll go the rest of it the way. See? And then you just secure it in place and then put it back in the car. You'll be able to see the through the holes here. See? That means that you are in position. And there you go. Now this will not go anywhere. Let's put it in. We're gonna throw the ECU back in place. I put the cover on just to make sure nothing gets hurt. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna line up with these four studs right there. So this stud is gonna line up those four studs. And, uh, and the bracket is loose so you can move it around as you need to. There it is. There's one. There you go. And now you can see the studs through. Um, so now you can put these nuts, these nuts back in place and then tighten it and they're 10 millimeters. So let's tighten those. There's a uh, bolt down here, it goes right there and then we're going to tighten it. And then we have this one up here, so we're going to tighten that. And the last but not least. We can take the cover off and then plug the ECU harnesses back in. Make sure it's dry. As you can see, mine's a little wet. Make sure you get the grommets in the right place so water seals it. Oh, and then there you go, fully secured. So push the uh, grommets back in. Make sure it's all sealed and then put the cover back on it. These have a little sliding mechanism. So make sure they slide in in the grooves and then there you go, all done. All right, so we have the OBD2 plug and we're gonna plug it into the car. So let's find the plug. Let's find it, let's find it. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. So, driver's side above the hood relief. Right there. Okay, now we're plugged in here. And uh, we can put this up here for now while we sit in there and uh, flash the tune. And uh, 
you want to have a car key on. Do the secondary one on accessory mode. Let me shut this door because it's freezing. Okay, so now we're going to go to, uh, let's see, new calibration. And I already selected the Type R, FO5 US. And we're going to do the 91 octane because in Colorado you only have 91 octane. And then it'll let you select different options here. So we have all these factory, or from Honda, all the pre selected ones. I disable the rev hang. So we're going to disable that. Check it. And uh, leave the rev limit stock. You can go up to 8,500. Would not recommend that on a stock turbo car and stock internals. Uh, Interlag kills engines, so we definitely don't want that. Uh, full throttle shift. I do want to try this out. Uh, so I'm going to do that one. This allows you to shift without lifting your foot off the gas pedal. So it saves you times on the, uh, on the shifts. And then traction control, aggressive launch. Uh, so this will allow you less wheel spin and a hard launch to keep engine from bogging. Um, let me try that. Uh, no wheel spin. Nah, I do need some wheel spin. Wheel spin is good. Uh, hit OK. So down here you'll see driver, flash pro, BD2, ECU unlocked. So those all have to be in green, uh, green check marks so you can actually uh, tune it. So now we can go in here and you'll see this little icon light up, but this will let you uh, upload the calibration to the Flash Pro. Uh, so now you'll get this little notification saying that it's not associated with the CCU. So you're gonna have to lock it to the car. So yes, this means you cannot use your Honda data in any other car. So it's not registered, we have to register it. Once you register your Flash Pro online, you have to go to Honda as that uh, website to register your information. It's going to ask you for name, address, email, all this stuff. So once you register that, you go back into here, and now you can flash your uh, tune here. So now it is flashing. Do not unplug it. You got to stay put. Just don't move. Don't breathe. Just stay there until it finishes. It's going to be a while. It takes like four or five minutes, I think. Maybe even longer than that. So we'll sit tight here and then I'll show you guys what happens after. Sweet, so we're almost done. This is the point where you want to be in the car and be ready to go. So once it says it is finished, it'll ask you to turn off the ignition. So go ahead and turn it off. And there you go. Once it's done doing that, then you're all good to go. Now you can actually uh, mess with it. I was just messing with the traction control settings here. Um, but that is all now you can start logging if you want to start logging uh, after you start the car you start the car right and then uh, obviously make sure you're in, you get your parking brake there you're neutral and uh, you are want to go here this little red button that's where you're going to start data logging okay so once you press that It'll give you all the different parameters here, the things to watch for. Uh, if you're doing the base, uh, the OTS tune, you don't really have to worry about that. But if you're trying to calibrate a custom tune, then you'll need to worry about those things to watch for uh, knock uh, level, knock retard, and stuff like that. Uh, and then you have all these different settings here. I am not too familiar with these, so I'm not going to try to teach you about those because I'm not very familiar with it. But that is it. So once you're finished logging, you can go back to this button. See, it's not all highlighted anymore. And then you can go to data log. And you can save as. But that's it. So once you do that, then you can go to your email, send your uh, log to whoever you were sending your uh, log to to get a custom tune.